In this video, we're going to add like terms, terms with different powers. Here's page zero. We'll look at a few examples. Okay, and here is page one. We'll look at some examples here too. Okay. Alright, so I want you to write this down, please. 3 times 10 cubed plus 2 times 10 squared plus 4 times 10. Please write that down. 3 times 10 cubed plus 2 times 10 squared plus 4 times 10. Okay. So, there's a couple of things I want you to notice. Um, basically, what we're going to explore is why, why is it that when we've got 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x that we can't just add 3 and 2 to get 5 and 5 and 4 is 9 and then it's 9 something you know so that's what we're going to look at why so I want you to recognize that this and this these two are the same thing it's just here we've got a 10 here we've got an x so this is like imagine x is 10 okay so if x is 10 if x is 10 we've got 3 times 10 cubed plus 2 times 10 squared plus 4 times 10 and um, what I'm trying to say is, look, you can't just go 3 and 2 is 5, and 5 and 4 is 9. It's not 9 times something, is it? 9 times 10 to the power of what, right? You know, how? What? what's going on? Because a lot of students want to say that this is 9 times x to the power of something, squared or cubed or whatever, right? And that's wrong. And we'll see why. The reason is because... And remember PEMDAS. PEMDAS says you do the exponent first. So 10 cubed is what? 10 cubed is 1,000, isn't it? So here we have three thousands, okay? Plus two watts. What's 10 squared? 10 squared is 10 times 10. 10 squared is 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100, right? Plus four times 10, okay? Can we add these together to get 9 something? 9 watts. 3,000s, 200s, and 4 tens. That makes 9 watts. You tell me. 9 watts. Well, it doesn't make 9 anything. It's just 3,000, right? 200 and 40. It's 3,240, isn't it? That's what it is. It's not 9 anything. These are not like terms. We have three thousands, two hundreds, and four tens. They are not like terms, so you can't add them together. Same goes for x cubes, x squareds, and four and x's. So these cannot be added together because they're not like terms, because they're different powers of x. They're completely different numbers. Completely different numbers, right? So it's not nine to the power of anything. In fact, what is this equal to? Do you know what the answer is? It's not nine times x to the power of anything. It is this is simply 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x. That's what it is. It is what it is. It cannot be simplified any further because the powers of x are different. Okay. However, if you had 3 times 10 squared, write this down, 3 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 squared plus 5 times 10, that would be a different case, wouldn't it? If you had 3 times 10 squared, wouldn't that be 3 times 100? 3 hundreds. Okay, plus 2 times what's 10 squared? 100, right? Plus 5 times 10. Okay, so this time, what can we add together? What can we add together here? 3 hundreds and 2 hundreds, right? This time we can add these guys together because they are like terms, so we do indeed get five hundreds. Or five times a hundred or five times ten squared. That's the same thing, isn't it? Five ten squared plus five times ten. Or that's five hundreds plus fifty, right? Another way of writing that is five hundred fifty. Okay. Another way of writing five hundred fifty is five ten squared plus five times ten, right? But we could add these together because they are like terms. We could not add these guys together because they're not like terms. So my question to you is this. Write down the answer. If you have 3x squared, write this down, 3x squared plus 2x squared plus 5x, add those together, write down the answer. 
add like terms. So the like terms are the 3x squareds and the 2x squareds, right? If you add those together, you get 5x squareds, but then 5x is not a like term, so plus 5x. See that? Right. So let me give you another one. If you had 4x cubes, that's like 4 thousands, right? 4x cubes minus an x cubed um, plus, um, plus x squared. What would that be? Write down the answer. 4x cubed minus x cubed plus x squared. Press pause if you need more time. Write down the answer. So we have 4x cubed minus 1x cubed. Don't forget to put in the 1 because it does help sometimes. These are like terms. 4 of these guys minus 1 of these guys. These are the same type of thing. They're x cubed. Okay, and that gives us 3x cubed. But the x squared he's different okay so he can't be added on so it's like having three thousands and one hundred okay so you can't add the x squared on so what we've got here just again is four it's like it's imagine if x was ten that would be four times ten cubed wouldn't it minus one times ten cubed that's like four thousands minus one thousand and what would an x squared be if x was ten x squared would be 10 squared. What's 10 squared? 10 squared is 100. So it's like having 4 thousands. 4 times a thousand, right? Minus 1 times a thousand plus 100, isn't it? So you add the thousands. You add the thousands, but you don't add the hundreds. So you get 4 times a thousand minus 1 times a thousand. That's obviously 3 times a thousand. 3 thousands. 3,000, right? Plus 100, isn't it? Or, in other words, 3 times, um, see, it's like 4 10 cubes minus 1 10 cubed. That's 3 10 cubes plus 10 squared. See? So, just like 3 x cubed plus x squared, it would be just like 3 10 cubed plus 10 squared. Does that make sense? So you think of if you get so if you if you're wondering what this all means, just imagine x was ten, and then you're adding thousands with thousands and hundreds with hundreds. Okay, so that's the idea. That's the idea, right? I mean, obviously, I mean, you know, obviously, if you had um, five thousand uh, plus seven hundred plus forty. Okay, and you are adding that to, or or subtracting as well, subtracting two thousand, um, and then subtracting uh, three hundred and subtracting ten. I mean, obviously, you would subtract um, the thousands, subtract the hundreds, subtract the tens. So that that and that would be just like having five x cubed plus seven x squared plus 4x and you're subtracting 2x cubed you're subtracting 3x squared you're subtracting x okay so imagining that x cubed oh sorry this is a cube x cubed is a thousand okay these are thousands x squared these are hundreds right seven hundred seven hundred see that and the x's are just tens okay and obviously if you're doing that you would put the x cubes together the x squares together and the x's together right so what would the answer be to that write the answer down so you would have 3000 basically right or 5x cubed minus 2x cubed would be 3x cubed or 3 thousands right and then 7x squared minus 3x squared would be 4x squared just like 700 minus 300 would be 400 right and 4x minus 1x would be 3x just like 40 minus 10 would be 30 or 3 tenths okay? and of course you can't add 3 and 4 to get 7 of anything because these are different terms we've got thousands and we've got hundreds and then we also have 10 so all of these are different terms you can't add them together you can just say well it's just 3430 
3430 and just like here we can't add these terms they're different powers of x we just say it's 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x and that's as far as you can go so um, page uh, one uh, please write down this example and give the answer it's x cubed plus 7x cubed minus x squared plus 4x squared please write it down and then see if you can do it by yourself x cubed plus 7x cubed minus x squared plus 4x squared okay I'll do it now so we can see that there's an x cubed here's another x cubed these guys are like terms so 1x cubed and 7x cubed is 8 x cubed, 8 x cubed, right? Here we have an x squared and an x squared. Minus 1 x squared plus 4 x squared. 1 negative and 4 positives plus 3 x squared. So if 8 x cubed and 3 x squared, and these are not like terms, we can't put them together, and that's the answer. Just like having 8,000 and, uh, you know, 300. Okay? Same thing. So please write this one down. And by the way, I just want to put a negative on here so we get a little, just a little, little tiny bit more practice on the negatives. Negative 10x to the power of 6 minus 7x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 6. Please write this down and simplify it if possible. Negative 10x to the power of 6 minus 7x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 6. Please write that down and do it. Can you do it? Please press pause and try it if you need more time. I'm going to do it now. So we have all the same power of x, so we can add all three together. We've got negative 10 x to the power of 6 minus 7 x to the power of 6 plus 1 x to the power of 6. Um, so you can do it all at the same time and just get negative 16 or you can do it step by step. These two is 10 negatives and 7 negatives. Change that to a plus negative if you want to. And now it says negative 10x to the 6 plus, ne plus negative 7x to the 6, which is negative 17x to the power of 6. And then we have a plus 1x to the power of 6. So 17 negatives and 1 positive make 16 negatives. Negative 16x to the power of 6. So I did it step by step. Whichever way, that's the answer. If you can get that, that would be great. Now please write this one down and um, get the answer. It is 8x to the power of 5 minus 3x to the power of 5 plus 2x squared minus x squared plus x to the power of 4. So please write this out and add like terms. Please press pause if you need more time. It's 8x to the power of 5 minus 3x to the power of 5 plus 2x squared minus x squared plus x to the power of 4. Press pause if you need more time. Please try to do it by yourself. And I'll give the answer now. I hope you've tried it. So we have an x to the power of 5 here and an x to the power of 5 here. 8 of them minus 3 of them makes 5x to the power of 5s. Okay? Then we have a 2x squared minus 1x squared. 2x squared minus 1x squared gives 1x squared. Then we have an x to the power of 4 plus 1x to the power of 4. So plus 1x to the power of 4. And that's fine. The only thing is we do like to write these things with the higher exponents on the left and the lower ones on the right. So we go 5x squared plus, and don't need the one there, plus x to the power of 4, but you can put it in, it's, it's fine either way, plus x squared. Oh, 5, I forgot my 5 on the, here, my mistake. So anyway, any case, you would usually write it with the higher powers on the left and, and the, the uh, exponents in descending order, right?